On my dive today, I found some fishing line tied around a pipe. It was really, really looped around and I couldn't just pull it off in one go. I had to dive down a couple times to try to untangle it. And why are all these pipes here anyways? That doesn't seem like a natural part of the ocean. Is there someone laying pipe in the ocean besides me? Finally, I managed to unravel it and I pulled it off. Luckily, I didn't get stuck by a fishing hook this time. And then I found this t-shirt buried by some rocks and sand. I had to waft it around a lot to get all the sand and rocks off. And when I finally pulled it up, it was so big. How much do you guys want? a bet this is made out of plastic. One way that plastic ends up in the ocean is through our clothing. That's why it's important to always wear 100% cotton clothes. Yep, made out of polyester. Then I went down and found this fishing weight and then a fishing line wrapped around some rocks. It led to another fishing weight. Then I found this strap with a string leading to nothing. Then I found the top of a soda can. Wow, this thing looks ancient. Oh, look at the shell that I found. It's so pretty. I checked very carefully to make sure nothing was living in it and it was all clear. Then I found a bottom of a soda can and another shell. Shell. The next shell I found kind of seemed like one that would have something living in it and when I checked carefully it definitely did. That's why I always check. So I put it back in the sand so it can keep on living in the ocean. Bye bye. When I was coming up I noticed a shell that looked completely out of place. Usually if they're alive they're pointed down and if they're like this and dead the top is missing because an octopus ate it. I wasn't sure what to expect but when I picked it up and flipped it over it was perfect. I looked carefully to see if something was living in it and it was completely empty. How did I get so lucky? This shell is so nice I'm gonna wait till we're on shore to show Brittany. Then I found another top of a soda can, and I found this nice looking shell, but when I looked more closely, I realized it had a hermit crab living inside of it. I don't know if this is the best home for him, but I'm gonna leave him here so he can figure it out. Then I found another shell, and a sea urchin test. These are really brittle, so it's so rare to find one in such great condition. Then I found a fishing weight attached to a fishing line, and Brittany and I got separated for a while, so she wanted to show me all the treasure that she'd been finding. She found this really cool shell, and then I showed her my sea urchin test. After she saw mine, she whipped hers out, and I was like, okay, Hey, Brittany, it's not a measuring contest. It doesn't matter whose is bigger. And she was like, yeah, you say that because mine is definitely bigger. Then I found this really nice shell sitting on the reef. I knew it had to be too good to be true. The pattern on it is so beautiful. And I always look really carefully to see if there's something inside. Sure enough, this one had a hermit crab. It's a pretty weird type of hermit crab that likes to live in cowrie shells, but if that's how they like it, then that's how it is. I showed it to Britt and she thought it was so cool and was like, great, I'll keep it. And I was like, wait, no, Brittany, I was just showing it to you. Then I found the top of a soda can and a shell that kind of looks like junk, but maybe Brittany can clean it. Then I found another shell, and another one, and another shell, and then I couldn't record fast enough, but this monk seal surprised me. The Hawaiian monk seal is critically endangered, so it's really important that if you run into one, to stay completely still and just let it do its thing. It came up and kept looking at me, and it was so cute. I felt so lucky to have such a special moment. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm leaving the full clip in because it was so cool that I really just want to show all the footage, and normally I wouldn't be able to because of time constraints. After he already stayed for a while, I finally decided to whip out the other GoPro to get a vertical clip, and of course that's when he started to swim off, dang it. It was still such a special interaction that I was totally freaking out. Then I found a spark plug and a fishing weight, and then I saw a sea turtle. Hello, my friend. His tail was huge. Dude, put that thing away. My girlfriend is on this app. Then I found a ring from a soda can and a golf bowl and another golf bowl. Okay, that's all the stuff. He's out. Bye.